So he has to decide push bulldoze this old degrees or to move. So that decision is made by operator. Then now operator decides to move this one and then he will instruct that he then remove this one and he will he will approach and then he will scan with LiDAR to get a position where it has to be. And this is by continuations, he has to find where he has to pick the bar and where to remove. So once decided, and then he will do action. And here approach, and here in the beast, there's also a sensor. He has to detect where the target was there. You might be noisy. <laughs> okay, next one, he may move this one also. If we see carefully, first he has to look down, look around, and then he will make continuation where to keep. That never stop. He has to have very complicated so called path planning, not to interfere other obstacles, and he has to have clear path to remove the debris. So he has to have full three dimensional image of whole space. Would he fulfill the task always in the same way? So always the same arm would grab the same No, no. It, it, it decides by where it's placed. So it's, nothing is done before his major the 3D image. Now, next step is he has to move over this terrain. He doesn't have any, any prior knowledge about this. He has to major instantly and get the, 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 the place to put on his foot. So he now transform again for the Better work. Can you stand up? So the unique thing of this robot is this transformer. It we call multimodal mobility. So there are two different modes of mobility. Sometimes it can roll with near position and sometimes it can walk by two legs. It change the fourth direction by rotating his upper body and he has to very carefully measure the ground height and every, everything okay. he measure everything by lidar now in, 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 in this side he has more three dimensional moda and first step is he has to approach very comfortable for, for the climb up then can we approach for the first step and then he will start to climb up very carefully so actually he can move over just at once but for safety reason he just check very clearly and make sure he can the check and walk in major he will repeat that one it weighs about 80 kilograms, so you can imagine that how his leg is strong. And then LIDAR will measure again. 
next step. This conclusion is very complicated because here before but there are many obstacles. <laughs> The height of this bridge is about 20 cent, 22 centimeters, very high, and this inclination is about 15 degrees. As you see that this height is very high. So it is impossible for 